The playgrounds may be quiet now, but come next week, students will be back to class, marking the beginning of another school year. And there's now concern from the BC Teachers Federation that there won't be enough teachers to fill the classrooms. The president of the union says the shortage is worse than last year, but no one is keeping track of just how many teachers short the province is. You're talking hundreds at a minimum. I would suggest you're talking thousands. We have districts in some of our rural and remote districts. Um, we certainly have situations where they're concerned about being able to open classrooms or open schools. The president of the Surrey Teachers Association says in that district alone, there are 150 to 200 specialist positions that are unfilled. And when a teacher is absent, it puts pressure on the entire school system. And so what happens is they start to pull from the specialists that are up at school. So learner support teachers get pulled, librarians get pulled, music teachers get pulled. And again, that has a ripple effect. So those students that are the most marginalized, needing the most supports, aren't getting them. The president of the BC Teachers Federation says a survey of its members from last school year suggests a high percentage of teachers felt they had a larger workload and were more directly affected by the ongoing shortage. Now there's even more concern on what this year will look like. But the reality is that if you don't address some of those foundational concerns, the workload concerns, the working conditions, um, we're talking about, you know, the class size, the composition, the amount of hours, the lack of prep time, all of those kind of fundamental working conditions. If you don't address those, we can draw more people in, um, but they're not going to stay any more than the people who are right now. BC's education minister says the province is taking the teacher shortage seriously and taking steps to ensure schools are properly staffed. We have uh, come out with some strategies, uh, including uh, increasing the seats, uh, the teacher training seats. We have added more than 250 seats uh, uh, to, to make sure that uh, uh, anybody who wants to get into the profession has the, uh, uh, has the seat and has the training to do that. Both Johnson and Burr say improving working conditions could help ease the shortage. School districts, Ministry of Education, they need to do a better job at honouring our collective agreement. And it starts with that, our working conditions. In Vancouver, Kate Walker, City News.